Ireland has lots of lovely hill walks, but unfortunately finding the starting points for these hill walks isn't always that easy. Thanks to Google Maps, it is now possible to produce a map showing the route from your own home to the start of one of these beautiful trails. This video, made in March 2015, will show you how to produce such a map using Google Maps. First we need to open up Google Maps. We now have a map of the world available to us and we can draw a map connecting any two addresses. Let's take an example. Say we want to draw a map linking a city centre address 27 Lower Fitzwilliam Street, Dublin 2 with the entrance to Ballinastore Woods in County Wicklow. There's no problem with the city centre address. Google Maps will find that without any difficulty but it will have difficulty locating this particular entrance to Ballinastore Woods. That is, unless we have the latitude and the longitude for this particular location. These are the coordinates for the address that is not easily findable in Google Maps and they were obtained by a method which is described in another video that I've made and which you can refer to. Now let's see how we can produce that map linking the two locations. One location by means of a city centre address, the other by means of a set of coordinates. Once again we open up Google Maps. And we click on Directions in the top left hand corner. If you see a pop-up message about cookies at the top of the screen, it will include the words got it, in which case simply click on got it and that will close down the pop-up message. We now insert the starting address on this line. and we type in or paste in the latitude and longitude of the destination on this line. After doing that we click on the magnifying glass. We are now presented with some route options and we can select the one that we prefer. There's an estimated duration associated with each choice of route. And on the right hand side we can see the route options that have been mapped out and we can choose which one we prefer. And if we want to zoom in and out on certain sections of the route we can use the plus and the minus symbols in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. If we want to explore the route in more detail we can enlarge sections of it so that we can see the, uh, the street names and the, the intersections. We can also go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and click on the little yellow man symbol and drag him across to a section of the route. Like this. this. In many ways it's very different to a traditional road map. Very useful, very interactive and of course not absolutely perfect either. You will find some flaws but by and large I think you'll find it very helpful. As regards producing a hard copy of the route, uh, this can be done by means of screenshots which you can paste into Microsoft Word or 
uh, Microsoft Publisher or whatever other software you're used to using. If you go to the top of the screen, uh, to the address bar, you will see a link uh, to the map that you have generated, which you can select like this, and then copy and paste into an email. And the person who receives this link only has to click on it to see the map that you have generated. Pretty slick. That concludes this video. Enjoy the countryside.